Hello everyone, um, it's Sunday today and I hope you all have had a good weekend. Welcome back to my channel. Um, just a quick video to share to share my um, tag week number 10 and um, it is Suffolk Path and Lace. Um, <coughs> I have just finished this one. I was having a, a, a easy, lazy Sunday, so I thought I'd sit down and do some stitching instead, which is very unusual for me. <laughs> um, so this is my take on the Suffolk, t uh, Suffolk Puff and Lace. Um, so what I have used was this as my base um, fabric which is linen and I'll show you where I got it from it's from my amazing find and this is the fabric that I have used it is linen it's a thick tweed kind of linen and this is from Belgium so I use a bit of it as you can see I've been using that and then this is the bit where I use the middle bit in the center and this is old pink and this is also Belgium and it is half 50% 50, 50 linen and 50% cotton and there is a bit of embroidery on there and um, I thought that is what I would use to start off so so that is how I started off with that base um, linen thick linen fabric with a bit of frayed edge which came up with it and then um, and then the um, old, old pink linen as well so what I did after that I sewed this, the two together using some French knots in a teal um, cotton or threads, pearly threads. So I've used um, that all the way down to uh, attach them two together, the two fabrics. And then I attach a bit of this old uh, vintage trim that I have here, which is this. I really love it, it's very delicate. I just want it picking out in bit, um, out of this um, uh, old pink fabric. Again, I attach it to the bottom with um, this like neutral color pearly thread. Again, using uh, French knots all the way down. So I've done that bit, and then on this side, I've decided I wanted to add something um, with a bit of. Um, interest not so plain so I found some of my lovely lovely trim which is this so we could still see through so that's what I use I use a bit with the flower attached to it so I, I uh, use little stub uh, stitches just on this all this little bit where the crosses where this um, trim is and then at the back, I wanted to add a bit of um, this lovely, lovely small flower trim as well. That's what I wanted to do. So I, um, I stitched that right under this trim. Again, using a little stub stitches. So that is how I form um, the the base and then after doing that I sew onto this beautiful beautiful uh, old uh, vintage trim of mine it's got some roses on it so what I did I just pleat as I went along and and used running stitch so to get this lovely lace so that is my lace which is vintage and a little bit of vintage trim there as well. So then I did do my uh, Suffolk Puff 
aka um, yo-yos um, and I use this I wanted something I wanted um, off-white or cream um, lazy see um, so you can't possibly I suppose uh, make a uh, sapphire puff or yo-yos with a lace so I got this sheer very sheer um, fabric you can see, see through and that's exactly what I wanted so I cut two circles different sizes and um, so I make two different sizes uh, yo-yos or suffered puff i was going to lay on top of one of the uh, on top of one another and i thought mm, maybe not so i used the assisting embroidery on the um, fabric as the stem so it kind of like um, a flower as in it um, so i did that so i attach it onto the base and and the smaller ones the same and then I wanted something in the middle. Um, and I, I looked, um, I found some of these uh, small, I don't know what you call them. Um, they're just tiny little yo-yo, uh, not yo-yos, um, uh, what you call it, doilies or sen uh, flower centers. I just found just the two, which I thought just enough and um, perfect for the uh, on top of my yo um, suffer puff so I stitched that on I stitched them on both and then I've got some very small mother of pearls uh, buttons so again I sewed on some small mother of pearl buttons in the center and so that is my uh, suffer suffer uh, puff and then to finish off we did some fly stitch fly stitches just going down on this side I didn't do mine too close to the suffered path as Anne um, did um, I just did one down the side here and I used teal and nat a neutral natural um, thread so at least there is some contrast um, with the teal color so that is my take on um, this week, uh, week 10 attack. And what I put down, 7th of March, which is today, where well, the sky is brightening up and it, we certainly had a beautiful, bright, sunny day. So it's spring in the air, I hope, as I'll be getting my first vaccine tomorrow. Hooray! So that is my, uh, definitely something to note and to keep and remind me with that note so yes so that's my take on week 10 so i hope you like it and um i'll see you again soon thank you bye